Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rudy Bonfell back with another amazing tutorial. And this time, I want to give you a technique that you can use in your soda commercials, in your milk drink commercials, all of that kind of stuff, okay? So this is just one of the main famous techniques client will ask for all the time, all right? So if you need a fluid swirl around your project, for example, a strawberry delicious drink, then this tutorial is the right for you, okay? So you don't need to deny or something advanced for this. You can also do this in real time with liquid gen that's what i would prefer and i'm using liquid gen already in client projects a lot and it's super capable of doing amazing effects all right so i guess we should just do that let me just check on my instagram something else i mean tutorials for different other techniques with liquid gen for example something like this one you will also find on my patreon and when i already talk about my patreon my patreon is the main address for you if you really want to level up so you can see quite a lot of members already trust me you can join for free but most of the training of course is in the membership i think for 20 euros a month you will get access to everything also to my shop and you can download basically everything just uh, pay one month and uh, make a steal and get away with it okay so yeah you can do that totally but now i would say let's go into the teaching and fire up cinema 4d and have some fun all right and i probably mentioned already that the full training for this will be on my patreon where i also show you some modeling techniques and stuff like that but i would say for this tutorial let me just copy this one over you can work with just your own glass okay so maybe you want to model a glass maybe you want to just grab one from the content browser here i'm pretty sure when i type in glass then ah yes of course so you can see you can already grab one of these presets but i went into modeling here and built something more custom little drinking glass so you can see the geometry is pretty clean i mean the thing is when you put this one now into liquid gen liquid gen will just voxelizes so it will not be a problem when this one will be way more dense yeah something reasonable like that will also work so yeah the thing will be to now just export this one out just go over here maybe select the cockwheel and just make sure that it's selection only this one will be fine all right so i saved this fbx out and now it's time to fire up liquid gen you can by the way when you hold on alt and click the left mouse button then you can pan around this little cross here so you can just grab a point and rotate around when you click the mouse wheel Wheel, then you can pan left and right and then with the mouse wheel you can just zoom in and out so the navigation here is pretty simple and i would say what we want to do now is just to put in the fbx that we just saved out so you can see i just click and drag it from my explorer into the window here so here is my imported mesh and i would say that we don't need the cylinder here anymore all right let's just put in our glass into the collider null oh and you can see i was a little bit stupid I left this one in the world origin so I mean you could save this one out one more time but you can also come on just click and drag this one upwards and I would say we want to levitate it a little bit because we want to let the swirl start down here and go upwards and now you can see I mean nothing in the scene is making sense right so first let's go to the emitter and let's actually go to its shape and put this one to maybe one let me just see this one okay this one seems to be a better value and we could position this one maybe around here here. yeah this one will be fine and now we just want to let this one swirl upwards all right but when we activate the scene yeah this one is dropping down so this is not how it should be let me just make this one a little bit bigger and let me also give the water a different color so we can see this one better i like to put this one to blue color so let's just go for something like this one for example and i think what i also want to do to just slow everything down a little bit is to put a drag force into the mix and we want to kill the gravity let's just select this one and press delete let's kill this one now we have a drag in the scene and the drag i'm just guessing for now i would just put this one to two for example what we also need is a line force let me put the line force into the mix and there you can see now the line force will give you a vector upwards or i mean along its line you can just rotate this one of course now your force will go into this direction but i think that we want to keep this one as an upwards movement with a rotation rotation so this one is pretty handy because it also has this twist strength with a value of five okay so i would say now this one will yeah just twist around all right 
and will then be killed by the drain modifier. Let me just see this one when you show it. Then you can see everything outside of this shape here will be killed. So what I want to do is to just make this one a little bit bigger. Um, maybe the radius here. This one will be totally fine when stuff there will be killed. So I think that this is good. But yeah, now this one is just rotating around and it needs a counter force. So what is also super helpful is that in the force line, you also have the repel strength, but you can also also reverse this one so it will suck the fluid towards the inner vector here so now you can see we have a rotation but at the same time the fluid tries to go to the center i could also make this one stronger and already you will have a beautiful spiral here right so almost like a little spiraling ring here of course this one is looking quite <laughs> quite strange but now let's also give this one a push upwards and i don't know why i did a negative value that was not so clever so let's put this one two for example all right and there you will already have something like a spiral right let me just see this one from the top i think that we can make the drag even stronger let's put this one to three now this one will slow down even more and i mean we can also reduce the forces inside this one so the push maybe one the twist maybe 2.5 the repel maybe minus 1.5 now this one is also slower we can maybe make the repel to two so we want to get it closer to our product but we can even still make the forces less so i want to put this one to 1.5 and to repel yeah the repel seems to be fine the push could be 0.6 okay we just want to have this one a little bit slower going upwards and maybe we want to make the drag even stronger let's put this one to 10 oh okay Okay, this one is too much. Let's put this one to three and this one to 10. I'm not exactly sure what the power is doing. All right, so let's put this one back to two. But I mean, already you can see where this one is going. Okay, so when I would now increase the voxel size, let's put this one to one. Now you would already have a quite beautiful swirl here around your product. And of course you want to refine this. So for example, this one could be a capsule. All right, and the capsule shouldn't be that thick. Let's put this one to 0 0.05 something like this one okay that's kind of cool you could then still put uh, turbulence into the mix let's just put turbulence there but okay this turbulence is killing everything right so let's put this one to a strength of 0 0.2 maybe and a scale of 10 i don't know yeah something like this one let me just see this one. Oh wow all right oh man you can already see that this one is going into something quite strong okay so we could even animate this one a little bit okay this one is moving too fast let's put this one to 0 0.05 or 0 0.03 but I mean you can already see it's all there okay I don't want to make this tutorial too long but you can see if you do this technique right then you can make amazing fast real-time fluid simulations for your fluid projects for your clients okay and as I mentioned I already used this like the last half year with clients successfully it's just an amazing tool and you should consider to put it into your toolkit as a 3d artist it makes you so much stronger with these kind of projects for your clients okay and i would say that this is it for today consider to get more of the good training especially for this liquid stuff lately on my patreon but other than that thank you so much for your time see you next time bye everyone